Hello, and thank you for purchasing a planner. This video is about downloading your Good Notes sticker book, um, either in the Safari or Chrome browser. You do need to figure out which one you are using. This video is about downloading Safari, and we're going to download the Good Notes sticker book onto our iPad. Now, we are going into Dropbox, which you do not need a Dropbox account or to put the app on your iPad. And you do need to have the GoodNotes app already installed on your iPad um, in order to put the sticker book into it. It is the only app that the sticker book will work with. So let's get started. I'm going to click on Access Your GoodNotes Sticker Book. And like I said, we're doing this in Safari for this video. You're going to get this page. If for some reason your page looks differently right now, do not panic. I did this last night on my mom's iPad, which is um, quite a bit older than mine. What happened when I clicked on Access Your Good Notes Sticker Book is her screen popped up and at the very bottom of her screen, there were two bars. One said, um, like, get the app. Do not feel like you need to do that. The other one said, continue to website. Click on continue to website and then it'll bring you to this page. So what we're doing is just getting these files onto our um, tablet or iPad. So we're just downloading. So if you can get them downloaded, if your screen looks different, if you have an older device, um, just continue with downloading or follow along the best you can. If you have issues, please feel free to contact me on Etsy. I'm always willing to help. Um, I will get you through these steps no matter what. So go ahead and contact me and I will do the best I can. So now we have this screen and don't think something is wrong. It says GoodNote files cannot be currently previewed. That is exactly what we want because this is a GoodNote file and this type of app will not read it. So I'm going to double click download up here on the top left. Give that a second. You're going to get this little white box that pops up on your screen. Click on the blue download. This only takes a second. Up here on the fourth time icon in, there's a blue line working. When that blue line is gone, or really if you didn't see the blue line, it could have been that fast. Um, it is already downloaded. That's your only indicator that it's actually downloaded. Now we're gonna go over to that app, um, GoodNotes, that we have to open the sticker book in. So click your home button, find your GoodNotes app. Mine's right here. Click on that. You want to get back to your um, main screen in GoodNotes. I had my planner open, so what I want to do is click this blue back arrow, get to your main screen with all your thumb tabs, go ahead and click on this empty rectangle with the plus in it, go ahead and click on import, and then we find our sticker book. If yours did not pop up, click on this blue arrow to get back until you get to recents, and you'll find your um, most recent uh, download there. So this is the sticker book, even though it says sticker boo, this is abbreviated. Go ahead and click on that. Give it a second here. It's going to um, unzip it or download. I shouldn't say unzip. Yeah, I guess unzip it. But anyway, it's going to bring it over to GoodNotes, <laughs> whatever it's doing, right? And you can see the blue line working and depending on your internet speeds is depending on how long or how fast it will take. Sometimes my pops on before I'm even ready. Other times it takes a minute. So here it is. Um, in order to get inside this, you do need to know how to use the GoodNotes app. There are two modes. So you have the read only mode. If you look up here, the second icon in here, um, and you have the hyperlink mode. Right now, the way the Apple Pencil is, this is the read only mode. So this will allow us to um, get through hyperlinks that are in our planners. Oh, close that. Um, so what I could do is click on the cover and it's going to open me, up, open me up to the first page. And now I could click on any of these um, tabs up here. So let me just click decorative. Give that a second to load. Depending on your speeds, again, PNG stickers take a while to load and there are a lot in this book. So once you have your stickers on your page, to get to more stickers in that category, see down here it just says swipe. What that means is just drag your finger. And you'll keep going when you get to the very last page of that category, you won't see a swipe anymore. So let's go ahead and show you how you would move one of these stickers onto um, your planner. Up here, you do need to go back to that Apple I pencil icon and click on it. This is the editing mode. This drops down a toolbar that you see. So I wanna click on the lasso tool, which is actually highlighted right now because I just used it. So if you click on it, it'll turn it blue. Take your Apple Pencil, come down and make a circle on the sticker you want to move and hold your finger or your pencil down on it. Click Copy. 
and then go back to one of your planners, which I have a bunch of tabs open. So let me just go here. Let me swipe over to a page where we could put that. And then hold your Apple Pencil down where you want your sticker and click Paste. And now you're able to move this around your page. You're able to make it smaller by using this little circle on the bottom right corner. And you can put it wherever you want. So if you didn't like it when you once you got it to your page, just click the red circle with the X and it takes it away. So you can learn a lot more about using the stickers. There's a helpful link on the second or first page of your planner um, that teaches you a little bit more about it. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.